Hi everyone, welcome back to my lab. So you might have seen those pictures of the sun that have got like a sunglasses over top of them and you know the usually the sun's drinking lemonade with you know pointy spikes around all sorts of stuff like that and I've always wanted to see that but like in real life I wanted to see like somebody put a pair of sunglasses on the sun. The problem is well the sun's 800,000 kilometers wide you can't really do that realistically. Uh, maybe a Type 3 civilization could do that uh, just for kicks, but for me, I'm going to have to uh, scale back a little bit. So I've got an actual pair of sunglasses here. Uh, this is not the kind of thing that you want to look at the sun with, by the way. Uh, I just broke these. <laughs> um, even if they've got Sharpie over the lenses, that's not going to be enough. You need something that's a little bit more built for it, such as what I'm wearing now, which is a shade 14. That's the kind of reduction you need, and you especially need the uh, ultraviolet and the infrared light reduced. In fact, uh, staring at the sun with this for a long time is probably not good either because I can really feel the heat from it. The, the heat goes right through them, you know, they're, they're black and they absorb it. But anyway, uh, the plan is to set these up at a distance that they appear the same size as the sun, uh, but of course the sun is much farther away, just like how the moon is much closer to us than the sun. Um, I think the general rule is that about every centimeter wide the thing is, you need to set it about a meter away. So uh, this uh, tower behind us uh, actually seems to fit the bill. Uh, I've got about uh, 40 feet of distance between uh, here and the middle of the tower. And you might be able to see that the sun is right there. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go wire these up into that tower and we're going to view it through a telescope and we're going to see if we can put sunglasses on the sun. <laughs> so, wish me luck. Okay, so this is what I've got set up. Uh, my six inch uh, Newtonian reflector telescope, uh, I actually ordered a cap for it to block out the sun properly, but unfortunately it never came. Uh, at least, you know, I got backed up because I guess they had lots of orders this past month. Uh, so what I've got here is the, my little telescope with an improvised lens in front of it. You can uh, see here, this is actually a welder's lens, a uh, shade 12, which is a little bit, uh, it'll let a little bit too much light through, but I've made up for that by the fact that the uh, tape covers a lot of the collection area. So the idea here is to block out the light uh, before it gets into the telescope and concentrated. That way it's not uh, causing it to catch fire inside of here. In fact, uh, just waving the telescope across the sun you can do something like this. See how the plastic on this lens has been melted? That's what the sun can do. And imagine if your eye was here. So don't point telescopes at the sun unless you've uh, got a proper lens in front of it. And this really isn't proper. Which is why I'm not actually putting my eye on this. I'm going to be using my uh, uh, iPhone here. So just mount this on, and hopefully we can see it through that. Okay, finally got it. There it is. Unfortunately, it took me so long to get this image that uh, the sun has moved and the shadows lengthened, and well, it's farther away. Quite a bit farther away, and the glasses aren't as big as the sun. But it still looks pretty cool. You can definitely see that the sun's wearing glasses. You know, maybe, just maybe his uh, head's a little bit bigger than his face. <laughs> That's great. I'm going to take a couple of stills, and I think we'll call that good. So as you can see, we're uh, moved down about twice as far from the tower as I had originally planned for this. And so the uh, sunglasses were about half the size of the sun. But it still worked. Um, I had to kind of guess where the sun was going to go and like focus the telescope on the glasses and wait for the sun to like move across them. It was, it's, it's no uh, trivial task. I can see why I haven't seen people do it before. I'm going to try again tomorrow and hopefully I, with a little bit more practice I can uh, do this again. So I am trying again. Uh, we're currently in the city park. There we go. Let's just go set this up on a fence post or something. The, so the sun's about to set so the shadows are really long but I think we'll be able to pull it off because the shadow length on that post is just perfect right now. So let's go do it.
So here's what happens if you use the sunglasses without something uh, blocking the light from going through them. So we have to uh, cover up the lenses. The light going through gets all bent and distorted and it messes up the image. So we're just going to tape them up. Oh, I just saw it. There it is. <laughs> Sun's wearing sunglasses. Awesome. Perfectly sized. Oh, looks like it's running into a tree down there. That's about all the time we're going to have with it. Look how cool that looks. So there you have it. Uh, we put sunglasses on the sun, if just for a brief moment as the sun was passing by. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. By the time this video goes public, I'll be already traveling into Idaho to see the eclipse. I'm not sure what I'll film, but uh, I'll be posting a video probably around Wednesday.